five months after the disaster began, after nearly five million barrels of oil gushed out, and after an unprecedented response and investigation, the Deepwater Horizon well is officially dead. Drillers have intercepted the leaking column and plugged the hole with cement, but even the man in charge of the response knows it isn't over. This area, these people, will take years to heal. This oil spill went beyond uh, just physical damage. You know, we were threatening ways of life, how people had been grown up, how they were raised. Uh, the watermen that operate down here. This is this is very uh, very traumatic to this area. Tony Dardar is one of those watermen. His father was a shrimper. His son is a shrimper. I'm still stunned. Where is this all at in to begin with? Where is this? I mean, if it's mixed in the water, where is it going to kill? I mean, what is it going to do? Even as the well was being plugged, Dardar choked back tears as he talked about his fear. His son's fishing grounds have been destroyed. Since he was born, that's what I wanted. He's good. He's good at what he does. What's next? Even if the shrimp do come back, the question is, will people buy them? Since the disaster, shrimp prices have plummeted. Dardar used to get as much as $5 a pound for his largest shrimp. Now he's getting two bucks a pound, and that is cheaper than hamburger at a grocery store. We're still, you know, staying afloat, but just barely. And the economic impact is hitting in places you may never have thought of. Places like Bobby Petrie's tattoo shop. His customers are the oil workers and the tourists. Both are gone right now. It's not what it used to be. It's not what it was at, in the beginning of last summer when the economy was still bad, but people were still getting their ink. It's taken me this long to, to get to this point, and, and it's if it was to all be taken away due to an oil spill, I mean, it just, it's frustrating. I'm very angry about it. With less than half of the customers he used to have, Petrie has more free time than ever. First guy I put out was this guy. And he's channeled his anger into art he displays outside of his shop. BP, you killed our golf, our way of life. The, the reaper's cape is pretty much the oil slick covering our golf and consuming our golf. All this anger, all this uncertainty, all of these financial difficulties are taking a toll on the people of the Gulf Coast. We certainly feel like in Louisiana, uh, particularly southeast Louisiana, we've had one hit after another. Dr. William Pinsky works for the Oxner Health System, a group of hospitals in and around New Orleans. They recently produced a study that found 30 percent of respondents are being significantly affected by the spill. I don't think we realized it was going to be that big. Uh, you know, certainly we expected some sort of uh, um, effect, uh, but you know, that's, you know, Katrina levels or, or more than Katrina levels. And now there's a new wound that may not heal for years. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, New Orleans.